Hi there. Well, look at all these people. Is it any wonder I love my job? We're talking about the power of today, and we're talking about the possibility of tomorrow. So before I actually get down to business, I want to just share with you something. I want to, to actually, together, get some leverage on the, the possibility of tomorrow, get some leverage on the future. The best way to do it is with a kind of a visual thing. So what I want you to do, what I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to bake, let's get some stuff out of the way here. I'm going to bake a leverage cake. You'll please leave the lights up. I want to see what's going on here. I'm going to bake a leverage cake, and we're going to start, I'm going to bake a cake right here with two layers, with some good juicy stuff in the middle, some icing around it, and a cherry on the top. The first layer at the bottom is brought to us by the, the Stanford Business School, the Stanford Business School, who for 20 years studied people looking for the success factor. Those are their words. They determined the only identifiable predictor of success was what they called, this is after 20 years, social extroversion, the ability to speak up. 20 years, the only thing they could identify across everybody, the, to speak up. The second layer was a further study in which it was determined that as much as 85% of your financial success comes from your ability to engender trust and respect in other people. The cream in the middle, here, comes to us from the Harvard School of Health Sciences, who did a study called the Alameda County Study. And they looked at 7,000 people over nine years. And they determined that the people who did not actively connect with other people, and so they looked at people between 35 and, and 65, which is possibly most of us here. They looked at 9, 7,000 people for nine years, and they determined that the people who did not actually actively socialize and connect with other people were three times more likely to die of medical illness than the ones who did. How's this cake looking so far? Now for the icing on the cake, which is the good news. We were all born with several things. One of them was enthusiasm. We were all born with enthusiasm, otherwise we'd never have made it out. <laughs> and the other thing is we were born with fantastic people skills. We were all born with great people skills. Babies have fantastic people skills. We're going to talk today about rapport by design and about connecting in business and about the possibilities of connecting, because it's all about people, have no doubts. It's all about connecting with other people. I'm not asking you, though, to go and learn flamenco dancing, spot welding, German and pottery to do this. I'm saying these are things you were born with. We all have the ability to connect and to be enthusiastic with other people. And the cherry on top, well the cherry on top will be the first thing I show you today and prove to you today. It's about how we connect and the importance of connecting with other people. Will you all stand? There's going to be a lot of this today. I'm going to stand on here so you can see me. So I can put the cherry on the cake. Right, put your arms out sideways. Don't grope anyone unless they ask you to. <laughs> With the forefinger and thumb of your right hand, make a circle. Bend your right arm at the elbow. Turn the circle towards your face. And place it against your chin. And place it against your chin. Chin, chin, this is your chin. You see, people do what they see, not what they say. Whilst you're standing, say hello to the people around you, especially people you don't know. Just greet each other, then we'll get down to business. <laughs> how, long do you think, how long do you think it takes to decide whether or not you like someone when you see them for the first time? Now, I'm going to say some numbers. All you have to do is make a noise. Stamp your feet, clap your hands, bang your head, rattle your jewellery, and if you're the quiet type, wave your arms wildly in the air. I'm going to say some numbers as we get close. How about five minutes? when you meet someone for the first time, to decide whether or not you like them. How about one minute? How about ten seconds? How about two seconds? The Harvard School of Health Sciences did their best research on the subject, and the title, the first line of their paper, I'm going to spend a lot of time talking to you guys here, because they won all the prizes over there, okay. all the raffle prizes. <laughs> the Harvard School of Health Sciences did the best piece of research on the subject. It's called Thin Slices of Experience. The title of the paper read, Students seeing a two-second video clip of a teacher with no sound 
came to the same conclusions about that teacher as students who'd spent an entire semester with them. Two seconds, and it's in this book you've got. One look. You see, we make snap judgments about people. It's just natural. It's part of our fight or flight response. In fact, the next time, here we come, people walk in here. See, here they come, all the people who wished they'd come in earlier. When, just take one look at them and just say, say,